Okay, I'm really excited today. I just received in the mail the paint that holds the new world record for the world's blackest paint, Black 3.0. So there is now a paint blacker than Black 2.0, correctly named Black 3.0. I'm going to be testing just how black Black 3.0 actually is. I'm going to be shining the world's brightest flashlight on it. I'll also be shining my 5 milliwatt laser on it to see what happens. And I'm going to also be painting stuff with it like this head here and seeing if you paint it all black that you can actually even see the contours anymore. Or does it just look like a flat black image after that? Okay, so I'm gonna start off painting this with black 2.0 and do a few coats of it. And then for the final top coat, I'll do black 3.0. Because I don't have a lot of black 3.0, it's still in beta testing. And so I'm just gonna do the final layer in black 3.0. So it's going to be pretty shiny at the start, that's because it's still wet, so it's reflecting a lot of light still. Okay, second coat here of black 2.0. Okay, now for the black 3.0. Okay, it's now dry. You ready to see what it looks like? Here we go. <laughs> Look at this. This is so cool. So can you even tell which way it's facing? So I'm spinning it around in a circle now. <laughs> it looks just like a shadow. This is so cool. You can hardly see any of the contours at all. So the lower layers that I painted on here were with black 2.0 and when I finally started putting on the black 3.0, it was night and day difference. The black 3.0 is much darker than black 2.0. And black 2.0 absorbed around 96% of light. So I'm guessing this is around 98, 99% of light absorption. Okay, something really cool that we're gonna try because this just looks like the shadow projected onto something. It doesn't even look 3D anymore. So I want to try an illusion with you. So because this looks just like a flat image, it looks like a 3D image that has been projected onto a 2D image. It's like a shadow, basically. So I want to try an optical illusion that I've seen before with a 3D dancer spinning around in a circle. Basically, you can get your mind to picture that it's spinning right or left, depending on how you think about it. So I want to try it actually in real life and see if we can do it with the head spinning here. So I'm going to actually spin it in one specific direction and then by concentrating on it, see if you can actually get it to spin in the opposite direction. So if, see if you can just by thinking about it, picture it spinning in the clockwise direction and then the counterclockwise direction. Okay, so I'm going to spin it here. So which way is this spinning? Okay, so this is actually spinning in the counterclockwise direction. So you can see I'm spinning it like this. So were you able to actually see it spinning in the counterclockwise direction or the clockwise direction? If you want to, rewind that last part and concentrate on it and see if you can actually get it to spin in the clockwise direction just by concentrating on it. 
Okay, it's now time to shine our 32,000 lumen flashlight on the black 3.0. The brightest bright versus the darkest dark. Three, two, one. Holy cow. <laughs> Okay, it's no longer able to absorb all the light. In fact, its face just looks white now. <laughs> Look at that reflection coming off of it. Whoa, his head's starting to smoke. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna turn down my exposure a lot. You can actually see the head start to burn when I shine it on it. Look at that, we melted the styrofoam under it. Okay, this is gonna adjust so you'll be able to see it. We'll adjust the lighting on the camera. Three, two, one. Just melting the face. Still held up okay. Basically what happens is the styrofoam just melts underneath it. Look at that. Whoa, it's completely melted underneath. There's no more nose in there. <laughs> That's crazy. So I thought it wasn't melting it, but when I looked underneath, it was completely melted. <laughs> Let me tell you about our sponsor, NordVPN. If you don't know what a VPN is, VPN is a virtual private network. Basically what it does is it keeps you anonymous on the internet. It doesn't share any of your location information, and so you can just browse the internet anonymously. But NordVPN is much more than that. It uses military grade encryption to encrypt all of the data that goes to and from your computer. But even though it's military grade encryption, it's still really easy to use. It uses a lightweight Chrome browser that's very user friendly from the very first click and it secures your browsing in seconds. And because it uses thousands of servers in over 61 countries, it can bypass internet firewalls. So basically it's as though your computer is in that country of the server. When you don't use a VPN service like NordVPN, when you use the internet, virtually any information that you send over the internet can be obtained by hackers. So if you wanna secure your own personal information or your family's information, head over to nordvpn.com slash action lab and use the code action lab to get 75% off a three year subscription. And you also get a whole month for free. I'll also put this link in my description below. Okay, let's also see what happens when we shine the laser on it. Three, two, one. Whoa, it immediately starts burning into it. Whoa, it's charred red. Holy cow. Try that again. Whoa, it turns bright red. So as soon as the laser hits it, it immediately just starts on fire, turns to ash inside of there. Whoa, look at that. Just makes a hole in the head. Okay, that was pretty cool. So black 3.0 is a really cool paint. I hope they keep developing it more 
because it's much darker than Black 2.0. Really impressive. And I'd like to again thank NordVPN for sponsoring this video. So head over to nordvpn.com slash action lab and type in the code action lab. And thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell to be notified when my latest videos out and head over to theactionlab.com to check out the new Action Lab subscription box. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.